This lesson is on the different parts of a graph. Knowing the vocabulary for the different parts of the graph is really useful because it allows you to do more than just draw it on your paper and think about it in your head. It allows you to talk about it with other people and express what you're doing in words. Graphs and grids are used outside of math to help people talk in lots of different things. For example, uh, maps. When two people are looking at a map, maybe they're on radios talking about the same map, not even in the same spot. They can say where they're looking by using quadrants and grids on the map to say that, oh, I'm looking at the lake that's near the quadrant C2. People can play chess that are in totally different places by saying things like, I move my queen from A1 to A3. And that vocabulary allows them to express exactly what they're meaning without having to draw a picture that's physically there. The graph that is most often used in algebra is what's called the Cartesian plane. And it looks like this. The coordinates that go from left to right are the x-coordinates, which means that the line going left and right through the middle of the graph is what is called the x-axis. The coordinates that go up and down are the y-coordinates, which makes the line through the middle going up and down the y-axis. These two axes divide the plane up into four quadrants. The first quadrant is in the top right, and they are then are labeled counterclockwise, which makes this quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four. Quadrant one is called quadrant one because it's the place where both the x and the y are positive numbers which means that as we go left on the x-axis, we get the negatives, and as we go down on the y-axis, we get the negatives. What we can now do is pick any point on this Cartesian plane and label it with what's called an ordered pair. For example, I could pick the point right here, 